Hi all, welcome to another Dave Downey Fly Time video production. Sorry I'm a wee bit late with this one tonight. This is fly number 11 or 12 I think. Uh, I've actually not been feeling that well the last couple of days. I've been a bit sick so I've been to the doctors today. Get checked out. Got to go back next week. Uh, and there's been a few other things I've been a wee bit of a mishap today. Look, my, my good computer chair managed to break. Uh, and also the tripod for my camera broke. So here I'm going to tie a couple of flies. Uh, one that everybody uses, they all use a different version of it. This one I'm going to do tonight, I use it, this is the one I use uh, and I use it to catch fish, uh, especially on the late human teeth. Uh, at the end of this video I'll put a wee link to the website, the online shop where you can purchase the flies and the materials uh, just in case you missed it during the video. So I hope you all enjoy it. Uh, it's, what I'm going to tie is a yellow, but my, my version of the yellow, as I say, is everybody's got their own versions. Guys use thread for the rib, uh, they use other things. So I'm using Camasan B405s uh, if I'm using a barbed hook. That's a size 12 I've got in the vise. Then what you want is, you want my pastel yellow uh, peacock eye. So you can see it's it's quite yellowy, illy colour. We're going to use some sheer 14-0. This is the stuff, the primrose stuff that I use for the Carlsberg dry fly. And then we just need some fox squirrel or hare's ear for the thorax. Um, depending on what style you're tying, you know, obviously it depends on where you tie it, but we're going to do the, the F-Fly version tonight. So I'm going to need some CDC as well. So what we want to do is just start on the, on the hook, right, and just start winding it back up. I'm going to just straighten that hook up, I must have knocked it. So we'll do that, take that bit of thread away. So. Take the thread back down. Okay. Remember this is a 14 0 so it's a really fine thread. Then back up. Then we're going to go back down again. Right. Then we're going to get our peacock peacock quill. Now I've already pre-stripped these. I I I'd used a, a Stadler rubber. Well, that's obviously a different make, but it's, you've got the idea. That, I've tried doing soaking it, I've tried using the hair removal, I've tried everything. Nothing beats a good old fashioned elbow grease and a rubber. Right, so we'll tie the strip quill in, and then go back down again. Then we'll go back up once more. Obviously, depending on how thick you want the body. Now, if I was tying a shuttlecock version, I would already have the CDC tied in. So, we're going to take the peacock. Now, I'm not going to do touch and turns. I want a wee gap. Right, now, there is a gap there. Might not look like it, but there is a gap. Okay. Just keep going. Keep going. Now, I will overshoot it, so some of this is going to get covered, basically, in dubbing. Yep, I need to tighten my vice up a wee bit. I was tying a smaller fly earlier. So, obviously, as I was saying, some of this peacock's going to be covered up uh, with some dubbing. So, at this point, I would varnish the whole fly. But obviously, because I'm doing a video. So, I would finish it off. Varnish that up and leave it to the side until they're dry just to give it added strength. Okay, but we're not going to do that. But what I will do is I'll put a whip finish in. Because I don't want that peacock unfurling now that I've I've cut it off. And the next thing is just simple. You don't have to varnish it, but it just makes it a much more durable fly. Bit of wax on the thread. Get a bit of a squirrel or you know uh, hair's mask pretty much I like the fox squirrel but it's very difficult to get a hold of them now 
and just dub it on. I says if you look, I'm going back over that. So we go back over it. And just pull those fibres back the way, get them out of the way. I don't mind them being quite long like that, I quite like it like that, that's why I like the fox squirrel. Now obviously we're going to do the CDC next, and this is going to be an F wing. So you're going to need probably three, possibly four half decent feathers. So. I've put the four of them together. And that, that's quite a lot of feathers. But I want it to float pretty well. So I've got four feathers there, tip to tip. Just brush them back gently and then catch them in. And then we're just going to trim that CDC away. And it's always better to get natural CDC with the oil still in it. I really don't like these. I don't think it works properly if you dye them. You kind of take out all the natural goodness and oils. So just tidy the head up. Wet finish. And another wet finish. Voila. My yellow oil. So obviously a lot of guys just use the yellow thread which is quicker. We have black, but black thread as a rib. But I like the natural peacock segmentation. For me it just looks a lot better. So I'll just do the usual, vanish it up. That's it. So I really hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, that is a fly that I use. I will do the shuttlecock version at some point. So hope you enjoyed it. You can follow me on my Facebook, David C. Downey. Follow me on my Instagram, Dave Downey Fly Fishing. Or check out the guiding site which is www.davedownyfishing.com or go and check out my online shop www.fly-fishingworld.com Thanks for watching another Dave Downey Fly Time video production. Sorry it was a bit late and I says I've been pretty ill the last couple of days and I'm still not feeling great at all. So hopefully things are going to get better. Hopefully these are all going to get out fishing soon even though we've had pretty much atrocious weather. So cheers for now, speak to you later, remember to like, thumbs up and get your mates to subscribe. Bye for now.